Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Been a been a little while since we Thursday night role playing, but uh, here we are. And last time, well, actually up until now, our characters have been wandering the Witchlight Carnival first as kids, and then as adults or older people. Um, and we spent the last couple sessions wandering. Wandering through the carnival, uh, seeing if they could find any hints to where their lost things might have gone. All four of these characters have lost something in the carnival. And they eventually found out that to find those things, they would have to go into the Feywild. So when we wrapped up last time, they had just stepped through a mirror in the Hall of Illusions in the carnival. And... Uh, found themselves being transported somewhere else. And as we pick up tonight, we'll find out where that somewhere else is. Actually, we're going to find out right now. As we go over here. Ooh. And you probably can't see much if you're not me. Oh boy. <laughs> As, but I think, let's see, how do I do this? Does that move you? That move my yeah that movie on the map yeah We're way down here in this little corner so as you step into this mirror that has reformed into the swirling mist and then you step out you find yourself uh in the order that you stepped through appearing on top of this uh stone bridge and as you look around all you can see in most directions is this thick fog that's all the land around you um but off to the east you can just make out the tip of some kind of structure poking up can't really tell what it is it's you know decently far away from where you are right now um i would guess it's probably several miles where you are um but it's kind of hard to tell because of the, the thick fog. Makes it difficult to, to gauge distance. Um, I think you can probably see just to the edge of, of this thing, um, this bridge up here, is that the edge just sort of crumbles into jagged rubble. There. Yeah, you can kind of see the end the end just sort of crumbles and when you look you know if you look down over there you don't really see the ground you just see fog hard to tell how high up you are is it am i the one who's having resolution like it's really blurry uh not blurry for me yeah mine seems pretty clear Okay. Hmm. I've got like, yeah, give a refresh. Maybe there's like refresh. a little bridge and there's a little thing off to the right. Is that yeah. what I'm looking yeah, at? Yeah, a little like okay. blue. Yeah. Sort of pointy. Did I do something? I did you. Blur background. Oh, can you see my view, Josh? Is it? Uh, I. Let me see. C control L, I think. Yes, it's Control L. Can you click on them? I can just. Is it like. Uh... Oh, wait. I'm. Ah. Uh... Thing. Hang on, I'm still in my reveal. Ill. Um, it doesn't look blurry when I look at like your token. All right, my token's fine, but yeah, my I don't know. I'm not seeing. All right, I'm. Did that fix it. Mm, yeah, it's alright. You might have to close out of the browser and come back in completely. All right, turn it off and back on. Um, but yeah, so you're on this stone bridge at some height above this foggy escape. Um, and so sort of one by one, you appear here. Um, otherwise, you know, unharmed, un unchanged from how you were when you stepped in. 
Or new and different. And I'm gonna. Hey, Johnny. I'm, hey. I'm whispering to you right now. You are. As Sorry, soon I was as adding my last spell yeah. that I got from it level, but go ahead. As soon as you yeah. kind of get your bearings and realize that you're somewhere else, kind of settle and say, okay, this is weird. I'm in this on top of this bridge and there's fog all around. You get this feeling that you are in the same place as the thing that you lost. Oh. But you can't tell where it is. You just have this vague sense that it's here somewhere. It's around here somewhere. It is in this wherever I am right now, this land, my thing that I lost luck is here. All right. We made it. Yeah. It no, does not. It definitely doesn't. Okay. So there's no there's such thing. thing. There's some other, I don't know. But is it still, oh, still well, blurry for you? No, no, it got better. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, fixed. I just had to whisper to Johnny. Fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> it got much better, yeah. All right. Cool. Maybe I just needed to wait. So, where? that's where you are, and that's what you see. Stand atop this bridge. We're here. We're where? Uh, I, I, we're here. I can, oh. I, can, I can feel it. What can you feel? Cluck. Cluck's here. <laughs> and Ushka will vomit over the side. <laughs> <laughs> which which side do you want to know? The 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 right side. Okay. So this side. Okay. So as you look down, Ushka, you can make out yeah. um and I'm just gonna go ahead and make it for now zoom. At some point everybody's gonna look down here. You can see um kind of attached to the side of the bridge, so like you can as you as you're vomiting over the side you see there's like the pilings that support the bridge you can see there's these giant sort of like shelf like mushrooms that are growing all over the side um and they're not too far down and you also can see as you look over that the sides of the bridge are kind of like craggy enough that there's footholds and handholds so it looks like it wouldn't be too hard to climb down if you want the bridge They're pretty safe As long as, as long as you don't go in the vomit. <laughs> right, that's slippery now. Yeah. You'll, you'll turn around and look like where we came out of. Like, is there, like, something there? You, you don't see any kind of exit for the port. You just, all you can see is, like, fog. So, yeah, Gil's, like, worried about that right now. Like, uh, guys, it... There's no way back. I know they said that, but there's like nothing here. Yes, yes, Cluck is here. Cluck is here. We there is there is something here. He wasn't lying. How, how do you know? Cuz I Right. Uh cuz I I got a I just I got a feeling. Okay. I mean, it's the same feeling that brought me back to this well the I mean Look, it, it's been it's been a long time, so I just I know it's here. All right, uh, right. I mean, are, are y'all searching for? Don't y'all don't y'all feel anything here? I mean, I lost my sense of direction, so I. <laughs> Can you tell where it went? <laughs> no. Did <laughs> uh, you feel which way it is? <laughs> Just vomited down, so yeah. <laughs> I had orientation figured out. I'm pretty sure it was down. Where are we? Where's here? And as you, you know, as you start to kind of wonder that and take it in, kind of get to the edge of this you know, kind of 20 foot wide um, stone highway. Uh, you know, you realize you're on this kind of raised and broken causeway, and the sky is kind of hazy and violet. Uh, the stones of the causeway, you start to know. 
glow faintly from within. Um, and this, you know, this... From inside the stone, not on the surface of the stone? Yeah, inside the stone. They have this... Good. Um, and it, you know, it, you can, from what you can guess, like, you can tell you're high up enough that this, this road or bridge or whatever it is that you're on towers over the landscape. Um, but large sections of it have crumbled away. Um, the parts that remain are separated, you know, by large gaps. So all you can see is like, oh, it looks like there's a gap at that. No one would be able to get across. Um, below you, it's shrouded in fog, but you get the sense as the smell kind of wafts up to you, kind of rotting plants. And then you start to hear this kind of cacophony, almost like a music of croaking frogs and singing birds and this kind of discordant symphony that kind of suggests to you that it seems like we're maybe above a swamp. I'm going to put the sound in this. So, but you can't really see anything. Um, all you can see is the stones that this, you know, the stone bridge that you're on and these colorful kind of shelf uh, mushrooms that are clinging over the. Cax, can you sense where? Luck is, or just that we're no, but it's here. I know it's here. Maybe we should get off this bridge. Looks like we got to climb down. <laughs> I... Yes, we should climb down, but we should also set a rope so that we can have ourselves harnessed in case we fall off. We probably should walk down. <clears throat> this portion of the oh, over a little bit uh, over there slippery and, and actually looking down so like the green does that the, looking back over again um, does this green here seem solid or liquid uh, so or actually, untellable so the green you can't actually see okay from, from where got you it are. okay got uh, it I can just see the the, the yeah. mushrooms so you see mushrooms and then more fog below that got it um, got it, got it. But, I mean, what exactly are we... I mean, I guess we have to, but... Okay. That's why we're, that's why we're going to set a rope first. So we have the rope, and we'll climb down, and we'll use the rope in case we don't climb down successfully. But... Which way are, are we going? Oh, gotta get down. Well, well down? Yeah. Down. But right now, we're up, which means that we could try to see a little further, and... Get a better idea of where we want to go. What's I mean, behind us? This way. Uh, so, the off the map. Yeah, the causeway <laughs> continues a little bit, and then it's, you know, if you go far enough that you can see the end of it, it breaks off. So. That's broken off on both ends. Yep, broken off on both ends from where you are, and then beyond that is just more fog. Mm. And it's you can't. It's so thick that you can't see through it. I mean, you can basically see close around you um but you know much further than like 20 feet or so is really hard to see uh -oh. i mean once we get down there we gotta stay close we might not be able to even see each other you're right all right well and brown will cast light on his hat <laughs> oh <laughs> the hat, look at that. <laughs> He's got the hat. <laughs> Whoa, nice. <laughs> when did you learn that? That way you can find me in the fog. Ah, that's, that's a neat trick. Nice. All right, you, uh, you got some rope? I nope. Don't... <laughs> I don't just I... carry rope around. Oh, I do. Hold on. Oh, I think I do. Hold on. What I gotta see if this came in my pack. It must be an adventurer. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. 
I, I purposely did not take the rope. Wait a minute. I, I mean, kind of forgot room. all my stuff. Um, I didn't really think about it. I saw the rope, 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 like, should I get silk rope or should I get hemp rope? And then I thought, I just won't get any rope. Yeah, I don't have a rope either. Sudden adventure. And people are really judgy about the we, type of so rope you carry around. We, we don't have any <laughs> rope, right? No. Uh, I mean, I, I think I'll get this. I'll go down first, and then I'll catch you guys if you fall. That's a good idea. I think I'll right, something more than that. Like, what happens if you don't catch us? I'll catch you. What if we make, like, a trampoline? Can we make, like, a trampoline, and then we could jump down, and then if you catch us, then you... We can climb down. If we fall down, then you can catch us. But if you don't catch us, then we can use the trampoline. You have, you have a trampoline? No. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, guys, idea, you guys are pretty small. I bet I could catch you in my wings if I, like, hold them out. What if I hang on to you and you climb down? I mean, that's fine. It won't bother me. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to catch me if I fall, if that's what you're saying. But I got no, this. we're not going to catch you. That is fair. <laughs> well, I got this. I got this. You guys just, if anybody's Ooh. real nervous, just hold on. I have this. Uh, okay, I can go down, or one of us can go down. I got this cuddly toy spider. Huh? That's right. What if we all yeah. get on Gil and then Gil goes down? With a cuddly toy spider? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what, what, what does it do? So if you pet the spider, uh, you'll be able to climb that wall. For like a while. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I got this in the carnival somewhere. I don't know where. In the carnival yeah. somewhere. I mean, if you guys what want, I can. Work? I can take you down. This is where we can see if I can carry the whole party. And as you, <laughs> and as you look, you know, as you you kind of survey this, you well, know, you can tell like this would be. Again, is could is it that like a one-time use thing, or is it like a? I don't know. Yeah, and Gil, you know most of the trinkets are one. Are one? Yeah, like one you shot. use it and it's gone. It turns into some or leaves you somehow. I, mean, I thought it was just a cool little. I thought it was just a cool little like uh, stuffed animal, and then they said it could do things. So, so. all right. Well, don't don't. Uh, yeah, save that. Save that for when you need it. I, this I I climb stuff like this all the time. I I I can do this. And, do. And, and you guys can too. I'll, I'll like I said, I'll, you just if you're worried, you can stick close to me. All okay. Right. So Gil will start start going down the edge. Cromwell's gonna set his watch now. As Gil starts to go over the edge, you notice uh, in the distant sky the a. Uh, great balloon made of patchwork material um, and it's spinning out of control like it's been punctured uh, and it's there's a wicker basket hanging from it that's just swinging wildly whirling around and it plunges out of sight disappears into the fog um, you know sort of close to where you can see that the tip of whatever that structure is poking out mm -hmm. So you guess that, eh, maybe it's a mile or so away, um, but it plunges, it spirals down into the fog, and then you... both All ends right. of the bridge are broken. Over there, um, I, uh, Brownwell says from the back of Gill. Um, did you see that? Look over there. You can see that uh, hot air balloon coming down. Hot air balloon. A uh, balloon, a uh, balloon in the air that uh, has a basket underneath it, and the basket's playing off to the side. Over there, watch it, watch it. And by the that time you, by the time you turn, it's like, what? Here. We need to go help them. Help who? The people in the hot air balloon, or the balloon. Was what? it crashing? I, I, it was I, crashing. It was like a patchwork balloon. It was crashing down. It had been punctured. All right. Wouldn't it have made a sound if it had crashed? 
It was far away. It might be like a mile away. By the way, Josh, is this map to scale? Uh, so there is a there is a scale on this map, which I guess I can. But we're it's we're not like yeah. I'll reveal, we're not to scale on the I'll map. Reveal to scale. You're not to scale. I got yeah, the impression, yeah, that we are much bigger than yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah, a. I made a scale oop. visible in the bottom center. So <laughs> it's yeah. This map is in miles. Um, do you guys see scale? I see one moon. moon. So yeah, there's one a star, one donut. One Each one of those points is a mile apart. Yes, but one I can't see like star. that moon is, uh... and a compass. Yeah, and, and there's a compass. compass. Yeah, and so there's no like squares or anything on this map. Is there? Is there supposed to be text on there, Josh? Uh, it's just each one of the. So that's the scale in miles. I don't. So each I... one of those bars. So there's like a green, a red, a green, a red. Oh, okay. All, all right. Those alternating. Each one of those is a. Mile. This is a big and bridge. they've got like the gold tab. Okay. And then I put Those are miles. Then I put a... This bridge is like a mile across? Uh, the bridge is 20 feet wide. Not to wide. scale. Yeah, the okay. scale is all... The, <laughs> the bridge is not to scale. All right. <laughs> and we are also not to scale. The map on the... is to scale, but the objects on the map are not. The objects, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. It's a... Like, that's not a half Story mile mushroom. Smile. And you've got a <laughs> And you've got a compass uh, in the lower left. Well, large mushroom but this pyramid might be a mile across we don't know that right we'll find out uh, we'll go and measure it yeah so as you so as you climb down hill um so this is you know you can you can get down you can sort of go um you kind of land on these mushrooms and then you can kind of like hop down the mushrooms um, so like you can take a couple steps down and then climb a little bit further and then take a few more steps. Uh, eventually you get through like you're for a while as you're climbing, you are in the fog. Uh, and then eventually you pass through the fog, get down below it. Um, and you can see underneath that it is indeed a swamp. And as you get down to the ground uh, and step off of the kind of like last mushroom, step out onto the swamp. Sticky mud squelches under your feet, and there's tangled mangroves growing out of pools of rippling water, kind of half hidden by patches of fog that still roam around on the ground. And there's purple mushrooms clinging to rotting logs and stumps scattered all throughout this marsh. Crickets that glow like fireflies are chirping serenely before they get snatched out of the air by the three frogs lashing out with their tongues. Coming from uh, one direction, uh, you see a giant crane that was hidden in the fog um, emerges and takes flight. So it seems to maybe have been startled by your movement and takes off. And then shortly after that, you hear uh, from one direction, that kind of the same direction as the as the crane, that, uh, you hear voices, this marching song, and it grows louder as it moves. This is the song grows louder um 
and then eventually out of one of the patches of fog that's lying down here on the ground um six bipedal rabbits um two of them are tugging at the reins of a giant snail that they're kind of like coaxing along the swamp um and the others carry clubs and slings. my people <laughs> yep. um so as they're kind of singing this and they come out of the fog and they they see you um a couple of them are kind of yeah, browbeating the snail who seems unhappy um and as they see you there one of them in the lead uh waves her hand and the singing stops looks at you up at the anyone else with you so i assumed i actually would have like had them not be too far behind me okay uh so i yeah i like they're not up all the way at the top but like they're probably just just coming down you know near the bottom uh yeah yeah my, my friends are just just coming down great is that all of them uh one two three. yeah that's he he's the, there's the last one all right great well this is a robbery if you resist <laughs> we'll beat you black and blue like down in there can, can not, we hear yeah. this as we're coming down yeah yeah you guys yeah. are oh, you're, yeah. here now i don't know if we're quite uh, uh what yeah they say they're robbing us bram what robbing us Nonsense. This is a violation of the law. What law? <laughs> Nobody enforces the law here anymore. Well, I'm here, and so the law will be enforced. And oh, you right. have no cause to break it today. Why do you need to rob us? You're going to enforce the law? Last I looked, you weren't in charge of this domain. I'm right. not in charge, no. Goodness, no. The one in charge is the one who enforces the laws. Uh, not from so I noticed, right. uh, I, I, I heard, I heard, I heard what you were playing, and it wasn't bad, but I feel like that y your music, like, maybe we could, like, you need a little, it needs a little more to it, you know? It's a little too uh, Scottish. Like, it just needs a little more, like, you know, oomph to it, you know? Like, are you saying Scots don't have What do you oomph? think? What do you, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's try... Uh, uh, maybe that's, that's probably not... No, the liars are definitely Look, not going to work. That's not what's up with. Uh, like, Agden, Luke, Agden wanna... likes it, and that's all that matters to us. Where's Agden? Who is Agden? Agden Longscarf. Didn't you listen to the song? I... I... I uh, the fog kind of... The fog kind of... You know, it washed out I, your sound. You're um, talking too fast, and the music is louder than your voices. Well, and so then pipes are loud. It all got washed out. Yeah, true. Agden Longscarf. He's the brigand prince of Prismere. You don't know Agden <sighs> Longscarf? Really, like, if he's the brigand prince, that's the best you're going to give him. Well, we just really? got we just got here, so like that's the, no, that's the best. That's the best we can do for Agden, like the Brigham Prince is like that song? I mean, come on. It sounds I mean, like he's been robbed. Pretty great. Yeah. I mean, it tells you all about <laughs> all the things that he can do. Well, yeah, yeah but like... Really anything because your voice is quieter than your music is, and so it all just gets... You've worked against yourself. Wait, you want us to sing it again without the music? As you've music? worked against the law, or you attempt to. I mean, we can do it without the music if you... Yeah. Yeah, let's hear it without the music, because I think that the music could be the problem. The lyrics aren't bad, but the, yeah, the music are, you know. So they, so they sing again to that same tune, except without the, without the bagpipes, without the drums. And then you can clearly make out the lyrics. So it's, with sticks and stones, we'll break your nose, we'll be you blind and steal your clothes. But none among us can compare to one wily, swift, and stand-up hair. Garth that's glorious, thief notorious, his deeds are truly meritorious. With a wink and a grin, he'll show his cunning, a flash of his scarf, he'll take off running. Quick as a bolt, his long scarf trailing, gasping, grasping, you'll end up flailing. 
You'll pout, you'll moan, you'll huff, you'll sneer, thanks to Agden Longscarf, friggin' Prince of Crazemere. Sing that whole thing again, same tune. Not, you know, they're not all perfect. You know, it's a group of brigands. But yeah. they are passionate about it. <laughs> yeah. Gil starts kind of bobbing his head to the, <laughs> to the tune <laughs> as they're singing for us. Although I am out front of these guys. I start trying to, uh, like, oh, I'm... as they're playing, like, try to instrumentalize to what they're doing. <laughs> and when they're done, I'm like, ah. You know, I'd leave, I'd leave out the bloody nose and the broken, like, I just, you know, it doesn't really draw people in, you know, you're just, you, you need something. To, no, we're not trying to draw people in, we're trying to tell you, like, how bad it'll be if you resist, which, I think you're just trying to distract us. Remember, this is a robbery, we're holding you up, yeah, so you better... Yeah, we're trying but to like, understand, like, is he running a government here, and is this government you're stealing from people? Because that's and, and making bad music, ba right. making bad music, and trying to steal from people is really just a bad combination. Like, I mean, I'm just trying to help you out we with at least half of that. No, we don't try to steal from people. We do steal from people. That's what we're do. We're we're. Do, we're the... do you try to make good music too? Because you don't do that very well either. I'm just listen, listen. We're just here trying to help. That's listen. We came down off this bridge way up, like way up there, and like now we're just we just came down here. Song, you know, the song is just so you know what's going to happen to you. But that's that's it. it. Yeah, that's that's the, that's your whole point with that's music is just to tell us. That's the point. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, no. It's like Listen. a story, but we just like no, know, no, 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 no. Liven it up no. with some. No, that's not the purpose of music. Music is not just to exist. That's not why music is there. If if you just have music just to exist, you're not doing it right. You know. I, you, you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, you're we, riding through this. No, we no. Know what we're doing. We're robbing you. So music. Stop about the music and. There's no robbery give today. Us, I, wait, give hold us on, what we're hold after. On. Wait, I look at Gil and then I look. I look at Ustra and I look at. Have they taken anything from y'all yet? No. Okay, so number one, you don't appear to be very good robbers, and then on top of that, you're not very good musicians. So. I'm trying to figure out being, which one of these things you think you're better at. Being a robber is not very good, and it's certainly not a thing to aspire to. Why are we instigating them? Wait, what was... Because they're was not very prince? good at whatever they have claimed, claimed to do. What was your prince's name? Agden Longscarf. Agden Longscarf. Agden Longscarf. And who's his dad? You know what? You know, I'm going to sit over here for a minute and write a better song for Agden Longscarf. No, you better not go anywhere. You're you're gonna, you'll get a beating. Okay. Because like his it. dad would be the king, right? No, over there's here. no brigand right. king. There's only a brigand prince. Well, princes are just waiting to be in charge. They're not actually in charge. All right. No. True. He's the he's the brigand prince. He's the best of all the brigands in Prismere. And we're his gang, and we're gonna take your we're gonna take the memories that you're gonna give us, and you're gonna put them right in here, and then you won't get a beating. Well, she, but wait, if there was a brigand king, though, he pulls the a prince out. Uh, <laughs> wait, and memories? And it's got a stopper in it, and it's got a gold uh, knob on the stopper. Like, yeah, you're going to give us your... So you're going to think about the, the feeling of delight that you had when you got the best gift that you've ever had in your life, and then you're going to touch this knob right here, and we're going to take that memory... And then we'll be on our way, and you won't get a beating. So is that just full of memories? Yeah. How many How do memories does it hold? Uh, as many as we can put in there. How do they get back out? They don't get back out. We keep them in here. But then what's the point of having them if you can't get them out? To have them. But you can't experience them. No, oh, but you can't either once we put them in here. That's the point. Did someone steal your memories, and no. now that's why you're doing this? No, we steal your memories. You don't steal our memories. No, I right. understand, but... It's time I mean, to touch the knob, would... or you're going to get a beating. I mean it. No, I understand, but why would you just be stealing people's memories? They're, they're worth something. You can but sell if they them. stay in there, then... Anything if you're not getting them back out again, how do you get them out? Look, Agden can get them out if he wants. How does he get them out? 
Well, I'm not going to tell you. So you Does do know. You for them? What? Does he pay you for them? No, we work for him. I Wait, mean, you, we, don't get we get paid. paid. You don't get paid, and he doesn't collect them. I mean, we get paid. Yeah. How and, much? And a couple oh. other ones with clubs start like fanning out. And move it. By, by the way, I didn't get a chance to know, but I'm still up on a mushroom. Okay. I didn't. I didn't come all the way down. And I'm on Gil. <laughs> I'm a few feet away, sitting on the ground, trying to think, but these idiots keep talking, and I keep like losing my train of thought. Yeah. And so. Yeah, a couple of them with clubs start kind of hopping around outside. We're gonna have you surrounded, and that's gonna be it. So better give up the memories now. So we just touch the thing. Yeah, touch the knob. Okay. Make your memory. Think about the memory. All right. Then we'll be on our I way. I want to make we'll, a. We'll let we'll leave you be. Can I make okay, an will... or a perception check? To um, see this container sure. and take a good look at it. Yeah. Um, because Bromwell's really curious about how this thing works, um, which will be important for next step. So, perception? Yeah. Or investigation? Uh, perception. Yeah. Oh, so, fortunately, I can't roll worth a damn. I mean, you. What you can notice, it's so it looks basically like a gourd. Um, that's got a golden, yeah, like a a golden stopper in it with a like fancy kind of golden knob on. The it. Well, you know, I mean, other than that, it looks a gourd. Does Gil have anything on him that's made of metal? Or that's hard? Uh, yeah, he's got some stuff. Some tools and... Yep. Like a he like a helmet or...? No, he's got like a hammer and stuff. Okay. Um... <laughs> I, I, he forgot his adventuring stuff, but he does have his maintenance kit. <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> that's funny. Um, oh, Gil's getting ready to reach out, and he's remembering. Um, I don't know if you're if you're gonna do something quick, but yeah. Um, before you go to give up your memory, I was gonna remember Ushka barfing, and then <laughs> touch, him, touch Put the that thing. in there. <laughs> um, Brownwell is going to say, "Give me that," as a command. <laughs> To Gabbik? Yeah. <laughs> so he can... Seems like more than one. Mm, that's <laughs> true. Uh, it's the give, give the part. That give. is the... That is, yeah. yeah. Me that. <laughs> Do it. Or drop. Sh He's shanking. No, drop. Oh, drop. Yeah, would... They just have clubs. Oh, okay. Drop would work fine. Wisdom. Of course, one time Josh can roll a save. He does save. not seem inclined. <laughs> he kind of looks at you. Of course I will not be so careless as to drop it. All right. So Are y'all still here? Gil touches it. Go, with go away. memory of Ushka barfing. Just leave us alone. So, as, uh, as Cax says, go away, just leave us alone. Uh... Everybody, ruining in the, my everybody in the group take a charisma or intimidation check. Max. 
stands up. I mean, it's the same, so I might as well roll intimidation. That's the same. We got this. Just leave us alone. You're ruining my song. The rabbits? No offense, bro. They're hurting guy. So, as as Cax kind of starts to push back and say, like, look, just go leave us alone. They look around, they look at Cax, and they look at all of you. Um, they look at I wasn't really trying to be intimidating, but I am like really And they've never seen any anybody quite like you, Ushka, and they kinda of look around for a second and then Jebik gives a quick nod and they like bound off into the Yeah. Well So the first people we meet here there's Gil, you scared him away, man. You are a scary dude. I was going to try a trick on them. Yeah, well. I'm going to give them a bad memory and see if it left. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I mean, it didn't work, but well, I don't know. That was not a good start. No. Well, especially if this place is just full of the brigand prince's. Brigands? Where are we going to go that we're not just going to get potentially mugged? Yeah, and somebody got their balloon popped, too. We have to get to them. Oh, yeah, good good question from Michael. I was wondering the same, but it just hadn't come you've, up yet. You've effectively gotten them. Okay, so okay. We, are, we are effectively level two. Yes. Got it. You are level two. All your level two. Good point. And any spell slots we used spell are... Slots. Back. Refreshed. Yep. That was the part I was concerned about. Yep. Because that would have been my last spell. The very refreshing point. <laughs> man, oh man. I didn't realize that you could get a long rest out of a portal. <laughs> Damn, that was down. one time. I can't help it, you know. Look, it's hard to tell how long. I mean, time is weird during the. Like, who knows how long. That's right. I'm tumbling. I've been falling for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well and and the the so they bounded but yep. obviously the snail was giving them trouble so was yeah. the snail still giving them trouble as they tried to get away a little bit but the snail Wait. just seems like demeanor wise it's like i oh, hate but it's gonna do what? it because it has no choice and what i mean and and you a... saw the snails like yeah. You saw some fast snails. This snail can move. Not as slow as like. And as a, a general note, since we are level two, and that's where I was going to come up. So, I, um, general note any beast or fae, I've got speech of the woods. Um, so, I read and write and speak Sylvan. Beasts can understand my speech, and I gain the ability to decipher their noises and motions. Okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So the snail was kind generally like, going to ask a lot about beasts and how they're feeling. And the snail was generally like, be warned. Eating people up and taking their stuff, and I wish they'd just let me free and just kind of moping Eeyore own. style. Uh, okay, here we go. Hurry this up. And then, as it, you know, as they start eating, stuff, it doesn't take much. To Yeah. That's gonna come in. That's yeah, I figured. Part. I figured. Oh, that's poor snail. Azushka gets out a, a small knife and, and cuts out some of this mushroom and starts to study it a little bit as he comes down. Weird. It's strange colors. Right? A mushroom quite that color. It's like the one reason he's not freaking out right now. A weird rainbowy bright smells it not, licks yeah, it not brown or tan right hmm. all right so where are we going
Well, Bramwell, you said you saw the balloon, which I think we should head that way or avoid yes. it. No, I think we should go to it. What if it's a brigand balloon? It looks like they're in trouble. If it's a brigand balloon, then they may owe us one. If those were brigands, we're fine. <laughs> I don't know. They there were a bunch of them. Get all scared. Look, Ushka was scared. I was working on my poem to sing to them, and then Gil had to start reaching for that stupid thing, and then like, well, that ruined it. Kill. I was just gonna trick him. I was gonna give him a bad memory. It would have been. All right. You think they would have known? I I don't know. I don't even know. Curious. Yeah, I kind of wanted to study that. I wanted to destroy it. Memory minder. What would happen if you broke it? Well, I don't think we'd have to break it. We just unstop it. You can break it open. But but why would you break it open? To get all the memories out. But you hit a stopper. You just probably remove the stopper and yeah, memories. Yeah, but if you touch the stopper, doesn't that steal your memory? Well, just to touch it with a glove. I don't know. We didn't get a chance to study it. Perhaps. Well, if we find them again, maybe we can convince them to let us borrow it. I put a herring on. He get one of those. What one of those? Oh man, that those guys. tiny little halberd. They only had club. None of the ones you saw had halberd. Right, right, right. That one had a tiny little halberd though in the picture. Yes. Yeah. Is it a halberd if it's a tiny halberd? <laughs> it's it's in proportion to who's wielding it. So to that Haragon, yes, that's a looks, halberd. Looks big. Anybody else is just an axe with a thin shaft. <laughs> well. Does the tiny halberd do real halberd damage? Uh, it, it does, a, I think, a die less, like a die mm-hmm. rank less if it's small. It hit with one. That's no. true. <laughs> and it'll be more than custard damage, I can tell you that. It won't, yeah, it will not be custard. <laughs> That's the best type of damage. Custard damage. Yeah. yeah. So good. The best. <laughs> There's no reduction from custard. I need to find the way to deal custard damage. Their <laughs> <laughs> characters. You need a, yeah, you need a ranged weapon that uses those uh, cupcakes as ammo. Yeah. <laughs> Never leave them. It's just a, 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 a cupcake sling. Wasn't that what Wigbit was working on when he was going in for the cook? Isn't that what he was doing? That, was, that might have yeah. been. Yeah. yeah, I think that was his, uh, yeah. He's going to be a baker, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess let's go. And he'll start walking the wrong direction towards wherever Bramwell had pointed, but yep. like off by Not 90 degrees at least. So either oh, kind of north that, or south. I think it's more, I think it's more that way. It's, yeah, oh, come on. Okay, all right, well, lead, let's lead the way. You said the fog is not thick down here? Um, so there are patches. It's not, like, mm-hmm. a complete layer, like you pass through when come. Mm-hmm. But there are patches where you just can't see into the fog there. Um, so sometimes you're just kind of feeling your way through. Um, you can always kind of see right around you, the yeah, area, but sometimes you don't know where I'm going. Most of you can tell your direction well enough to know that, like, oh, I haven't... I think I've dv But maybe I have. Also, things are weird in the face. You're not going... But you can see, I mean... And, and you can still see that spire. Um, and as you get closer, more of it's revealed, so... You do have that as kind of a, a landmark for the sort of direction that you're going in. For now, uh, as we get going, um, uh, I'll use one of my uh, uses of wild shape to, to cast find familiar as an action um, and summon uh, a fey bat. I don't know what a fey bat is, but it's a bat, but yeah. it's fey in, in, in origin instead. <clears throat> Just like a like purple green. What the hell is that? So I, 
I've never had a chance to do this before. I've never needed to. Hey, would, would you mind scouting ahead of us? And if, if you find any creatures like our size or bigger, like warn us. Are we going to be going, Cax, which way are we going? Uh, we're going that way. That way. Oh, that way. So if you, if you don't mind, just kind of scouting ahead and, and just keeping a, an ear out for us. Well, and yeah, and yeah, it's not actually, like, it can't actually verbally communicate, but okay. it can understand me. I can understand it generally. Yeah. You get the sense that you're going to do. Yeah. So for the next hour, we have a bat. Cool. Yeah, and as you, you know, as you start walking, uh, after a few minutes, it, it comes back to you. And get the sense that it doesn't uh it doesn't see anything dangerous there it kind of is encouraging you oh yeah you should come this way there's stuff i think it's pretty safe ahead for now is there a balloon up ahead i don't think he would know what a balloon is really mm. It was patchworked. Um, Is it? No, I don't know how you'd communicate that to a bat. Yeah, I mean, it's especially like blind as a bat is a saying. Does it Are bounce they blind when it bat? runs into it? I mean, <laughs> well, hopefully he's not running into it. I mean, what if it's a rock and not a balloon? Then well, he wouldn't bounce if it was a rock. Right. But I don't want him to get hurt. Oh yeah, that's true. I right. guess we'll keep going. But yeah. He, yeah. So you, yeah. you walk for about a mile. And uh, eventually, you know, as you know, as more of this is kind of revealed as the fog kind of goes away closer, you see there's this crumbling stone tower that rises up. Meaning at such an angle that it's threatening to just keel over. Jumped in. Black brambles surround the base of the tower and clean the lower half of it and then hanging from the crenellations on the lower side of the as it's towards you um, is a large woven basket at the end of a tangle of ropes and tattered fabric and this basket is dangling 30 feet above the swamp floor bar. Um, the tower is about 50 feet tall looks like it's or so in diameter um and see that, yeah, there's this sort of like dense uh, thicket of dark black brambles. Um, and as you get towards the edge of this kind of big bramble pad, you're common, you're whispering. We're here to help you. <laughs> We're here to help you. Unless it's, unless it's a brigand. Awaken the serpents might put the squeak to force devour me. Can, there, can we not just talk with them? They might be reasonable. Mushka, can you talk to snakes? As you can observe, I'm a bit of a bind. I, Sir Talavar, is one of the most loyal who see I was in the midst of a daring escape from the vile Balorna Blightstraw and our balloon was set upon by an ill wind Balorna Blightstraw? <laughs> Sorry, that just happened <laughs> The wind sent, sent us plummeting to for an unfortunate pilot honorable survive i've been trapped up here help me i must tell my queen of the fall of prismere the fall of prismere we just heard of some brigand prince of prismere and mm -hmm. 
The villain of the Archfey resides in prison here. I say quietly. Bigden Longscarf. Buzz. What I have. Bro. I'm sorry, I know you're hanging from a tree. What did you say your name was again? Sir Talavar. Yeah. Loyal servant of the summer. How far up was he? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. Above some brambles, yes. And he's hanging. Is hanging from. So yeah, the balloon is like snagged on the tower. Okay. So his balloon is hanging off this like lower side of the tower, just dangling. Over. And then he had said the snakes were in the brambles or, or at the door in, of the tower. In the brambles by the tower door. Got. It. So we would have to go into the brambles to be underneath him? Yes. I mean... I mean we should help him. I, any, any ideas? We didn't bring a rope. I, <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, we could do the, the jump into the, into the, like, trampoline thing. Oh, yeah. You can try that. Do I have a trampoline? Well, yeah, but like these wings are really oh, big. Yeah. <laughs> they are enormous. I mean, we might be able to burn away some of the brambles or burn the ropes so that at least the basket will fall down. Um, snake? Well, not with fire, with um, basket. Are they, like, are they like big snakes or is it like little snakes? Quite large. Oh. Oh, uh, friend, talking to the bat. Would you mind going and taking a look at those snakes? Tell me if they're as large as I am, or smaller, or bigger. Bat flies off. Flies basically just around to the other side. Flies back, and suggests to you that they are larger than you. Oh, these snakes are very big. And larger than the elephant. I was going to ask it. They're bigger than Gil. Oh, what? The the, the snakes are bigger than you. And they are quite large. Ushka gets sorry. quieter. <laughs> Alvar, you're in a tight spot, man. Uh, yes. I'd appreciate any give. Let's start a 10 minute ritual. <laughs> oh, Wait, yeah. I remember this line. <laughs> and it's done. Okay, well, right, then, then I'm just gonna get speak with animals ready. Okay. Um, in case there are animals that I need to speak with. It does seem that there's at least two animals. So, <laughs> right, right. So I've got that ready to trigger and, and fire off. During that time, uh, I guess it would have started to just kind of creep a little bit into the brambles and see how. Yeah, terrible. Why don't you throw... As you're talking, kind of checking. So, um, the yeah. the brambles, uh, you know, as as you kind of, you know, you sort of pick your way in. Um, it's, uh, you can pick your way through. It's effectively different. So as long as you kind of go slowly, you can kind of worm your way through the brambles without getting poked. You might get a couple like won't take any like serious damage as long as you yeah. and, and it kind of looks see... like it's that way all the way up to the tower yeah Doesn't and we can still see up we can see the balloon above us yeah, you can see the balloon well you can see the basket basically dangling you can see the balloon snagged yeah. on the tower you can't actually see sir talabar you can't yeah. see inside the basket mm -hmm. out of it so Kind of, I guess, slowly work our way to underneath him. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you you'll be 
in the bramble patch, but you can get to. Yeah, you can carefully get. Yeah, that's what I would, I guess, do. Is it um, if he if he were to jump, would he be hitting a bunch of brambles? Um, if he yeah, if he came out of the basket, yes, fall into the brambles. Can, can he just climb down? There's nothing to climb on, right? And I am currently unable to uh, extricate myself from. The... Are you like what? I'm, I'm sort of trapped. In the basket? Yes, in the basket and also in this cage that I have been found myself put in. Wait, you're, wait, you're no. locked inside of a cage inside the basket? Yes. It is Who was your. Seems like there's more story here than just. Wait. Why are you in a cage? See, I had I had come here as an emissary of tech and I was coming to Wade Zabilna to ally with the Sealy Court against terrible Orions. Discovered that Prismir had been seized by the hourglass or I could Return to Titania with this news. Have Lorna trapped me in cage? Chanted something. Stops me from doing anything I'm normally able to. Then Bullywug, Frogman, Wigglewog, Brave, Brave Wiggle, stole my cage and fled with it in this balloon. Then was attacked by this malicious wind and sent us careening into this tower. I've been stranded since then and poor, poor Wiggle gave his life to breed and here I am. Hmm. So it's a magic cage, is what you're saying? Yes. That's able to free myself. problematic. There I guess a, we. Got... I mean, there is a key. Oh well, okay. All the no, information. Should have, should have led with that. Yeah. Where is said key? Well, see, there's several problems. The first is that I'm angling. How long this balloon will hold? Plummet into. The... Followed by well, serpents. That's why I would lead with where the key is, so we can get it, so we can get you out. Because there's right also, now you're. The, the key is. There's this goblin named Jingle Jang. Has the key. He lives atop Calamy Hill, not not far from here. Have to convince her to give you the key. Time to get back before the balloon tears asunder and plummet to my death. I, it's not that far. <laughs> the thirty feet. Well, the. The fall is less worrisome than the serpents. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, not plummeting to your death. You're falling down and then getting killed by serpents. Yes, I suppose. In a plummet. I mean, you, it, you might be all right if you were on the fall. How do? <laughs> so where's this goblin? He's atop Telemy Hill, the east of here. Like you understand, we we've we've arrived like twenty minutes ago. We have no idea where anything is. East is that way. Yes, uh, to the past this tower. We got to go past the tower with the the big serpents. Yes. Great. Say, give them a wide. Seems like way. Ooh, 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 ooh. We need to get him down first, right? Like, and you hear nah, a little, yeah. you hear a little like <clears throat> airing of fabric, and the basket drops just a little bit lower. Oh, I guess oh, he won't be alright. Oh, That's what I was. Afraid. How how big is the 
the cage, the prison you're in. Uh, are yeah. you human? No. Are you an elf? No. I... Are you a? Are you a fear? What are you? Yeah. A dragon. Yes. Like a real, like a real dragon. <clears throat> Wow. Very, very young dragon, I would take it. Oh, no, I've, I've been around for quite some time. Then why can't you... Um... Dragons in the Feywild must be different. So the, the cage is keeping you from assuming the powers and form of a dragon? Um, no, I'm in my usual form. I just <laughs> can't use any of my... can't use any of my magical... Free myself. Can't have this stop me from. Right, you can't. You can't um, assume the form of a dragon currently. I am in the form of a dragon. That is my form. Oh, but the oh, cage oh, is so small. It is. I mean, how big are you? <laughs> well, I'm large enough to fit inside that cage, but I didn't think that a. A dragon would be large enough to fit inside that cage. I thought the dragon would be too big to fit inside that cage. Oh, I'm not too big. I'll, I'll say to the bat, could, could you go check on the creature up inside of that nest and tell me how, how large it is compared to you? So the bat flies up, and is it just like a normal-sized bat? Yeah. Yeah, so... It... Normal-sized fey bat. Yeah. So it flitters up there, comes back down. It's, I don't know, giving you the idea that this is maybe the size of, like, a cat. Friend, is the cage about as big as you are? Uh, maybe, I mean, a little bigger? Slightly not... bigger. It's not comfortable. Not roomy. And I'll look so up we can at the... Pick up the cage. Uh, well, depends we can on get how in big there. you are, I suppose. What? And the the uh, balloon, the basket that's attached to this hot air balloon, is it just like wicker, or, or what is it made yeah, out of? Yeah, it's wicker. Yeah, it looks like it's woven of beads or... Looking to the others, I could probably burn a small enough hole in the bottom of the basket to just drop. If you can catch him, Gil. Oh, yeah, I can get him. But isn't the cage going to be kind of... I mean, it's a cage. Oh. But it... He's pretty small. He's, and he says it even quieter, like a cat size. He's like the size of a cat. It's a cat dragon? Like a cat, like a cat dragon? It's a cat dragon. Well, this is I cute. mean, I don't know if it looks like a cat, but like it's the size it. of a cat. It's like a tiny dragon. A cat is cool. I, mean, I, I love it. it. Yeah, but I mean, so, you know, if we think... I think it's so, a great idea. Either that or one of us has to climb up there. Using fire around all of this vegetation isn't going to be a problem? Well, it's just acid. I would just be shooting acid from my hands. Yeah, you, you weren't doing that last time I saw you. You can do that carefully? I've never uh, seen anyone do that carefully. I mean, pretty carefully. It's just a splash. Splashing is not careful. Well, splashing is splashing. If you're careful with it. Ushka, don't let them. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. And if you miss, it'll be funny. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a weird sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's gonna fall. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm gonna hit the dragon, right? It's gotta right. go That's through I mean. and burn <laughs> the, the dragon. You hit part of the quicker, then it'll still fall. It'll Either fine. way, as long as we get the dragon out, right? That's the goal. Yeah. But you know, you're gonna catch whatever falls. This will be yeah. fine. I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> 
I mean, are we okay with this plan? Well, it's either that or one of us climbs up there. But we got to do something quick or else it's going to break and fall. Yeah, okay. If it breaks and falls, isn't it? Just... Never mind. Let's just do it. All right, Gil. Gil, are you ready to catch the king? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got this, got his wings out, <laughs> spread out wide. And just... <laughs> I've seen them do this in, the, in, in Big Top before. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't used it. Yeah. Wow, it is. <laughs> no, I, I rolled shit in stats. <clears throat> Naturally. So we should definitely warn him of what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't um, scream. Friend, um, we're going to remove the bottom of the basket so that you can fall and Gil can catch you. He's quite good at that, I think. Yes. He was at a carnival. He knows how to catch stuff. You'll be fine. Okay. We, of course, well, uh, we'll talk to them if we have to. Okay. I mean, right? That we could come to an agreement. All right. So I'll, I'll finish speak with animal as a ritual, um, and then I'll I'll now speak with animal uh, with the bat and tell it to. But would you would you mind and go, um, just for a moment, go hang on the bottom of that nest so I can see where the cage is. Uh, if you if you could just show me where the cage is, that'd be great. So yeah, it, the the bat goes up and then kind of peeks over, and then so this basket is hanging kind of like this, and it perches on sort of low part. Got it. Oh, come back! I, I don't want to accidentally hit you. Flies back. All right, and I'll hey, acid splash that Come spot. On. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I gotta roll an attack against object. Yep. I, I didn't prepare any attacks. Uh, Bram. Yeah, didn't bother creating. No, I think this is my plus. Let me double check. Bram, do you? I once, I once ran into somebody that knew how to make things quiet. Can you do that? Right, Does a twenty-two hit? <laughs> As acid flies into the trees. <laughs> You actually have stats for the basket. I hope I hit the basket. If its AC is higher I than think 22 you, I or think 5. You hit it, I'm also checking. Yes. Certain number of hit. It'll need them. It probably, it's wicker. It's probably, probably vulnerable to acid, I would guess. So yeah, you definitely hit it. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm, it's not an attack. It's a deck save. Oh, a deck so save. So the basket needs to make a deck save. Does it make it? I think the basket probably then it takes one, one, one acid. One acid damage. Okay. I, mean 11. Was, I haven't done this in a long time, so that's, you know. Uh, I think you can hit it a little harder, Ushka. I didn't, like, I didn't want to hit it too hard. I know you don't want to burn the dragon. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I hit it just a little harder. Yeah. That was 100% harder. <laughs> All right, I think just like double that one more time, and then okay. we're probably no. Just take off a little bit at a time. You can do this multiple times. 
pick up a little bit each time live so far. So it's starting to fray. I'm, um, oh, you, oh, oh, I said oh, oh. going to okay. cast Guidance on Gil. Nice. Um, and Bram, you notice that the, yeah, the snakes appear to be stirring. Assume, yeah, Ushka is kind of concentrating on the basket. Yeah, Bram, you can see. Mm. He's off again. We're at a twelve. Yeah, it's it's starting to. You're starting to see silver through the bottom. Of the... Maybe we should stop for a moment and let the snakes calm down. Oh, okay. They're That's starting right. to stir. Oh, see, so after twenty four seconds, I'll pause. That's yeah, sort of like sizzling and smoking. But yeah, now that you've paused, you also know uh, the snakes are starting to like more than stirring awake, being like actually awake. Um, yeah, they're starting. So they're still kind of like starting to move their heads a little bit, not really moving the body. But not Something not like sleepy, like they're awake and they're getting, they're waking right. up. They're not going to go back to sleep. Yep, we then, need to get this done. Get out. We gotta hurry this up. All right, shoot it again. So that last one, yeah, burns away the last bit of it, and you see this silver cage come tumbling out. Um, <laughs> got this, Gil. Gil, go ahead. And so yeah, it. I got the the thing kind of stretched out, okay. and my goal is to like when it hits to kind of like. You know, give and like, yeah. you know, catcher's minute. Okay. Move, move your arms at the same speed. That, that, it's that sounds very athletic. It's pretty athletic. Um, trying to. So yeah, I think I think you could go for either acrobatic or athletic. I'm glad you gave me the choice. And you got your <laughs> guidance. <laughs> right, extra D four. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna use my athletics. Uh, you know. Let let the muscles, you know, take the hit, but be all right, you right. know. You don't need finesse when you're strong enough. Oh. But an extra D4. Yeah, and an E4. That's good. Those are good. Okay. Uh, so you do... So you manage... Manage... The, um, that's... That's the... Mm-hmm. We didn't manage to do it quietly. Well, we need to get away. There's yeah, there's a couple. So you you take three piercing damage as you kind of like have to jam yourself onto one of the brambles to make the catch. Okay. So it just sort of goes into your sides. Like, ah! You know, it's like yeah. getting poked with a giant. Yeah. Um, Ouch. That'll, that's dumb. Yeah. Uh, but also, yes, the snakes do seem to... Or you see how they're starting to slither their way through the brambles, and they seem to be able to do it well avoiding. And they do seem hostile. Especially uh, those of you who can understand. Yeah, I can. Uh, um, hello, hello, friends. They kind of stop for us. A, a very nice small dragon um, needed our help, and so we're helping him, and now we're, we're leaving. Um, Away from here. Yes. No. Make... Oh boy. <laughs> See if I can roll my ass off. Too honest to be anything else. Not close. 
go. This has been quite. We are very boring. Since you have him. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. He says in uh, <laughs> parcel tongue. <laughs> This is all in parcel yeah, so tongue. Yeah, he's been kind of like hissing. Nick's been hissing back. Uh, We're good. You just do. What did you, you say to him? I just told him what we were doing. Like we were just trying to free this small dragon, and they asked if we wanted to go to the tower. I said, no, we definitely don't. Uh, I at least I don't think we do. And, and so Why don't we just they, do that from the start, then? Well, I didn't know that they were so reasonable. And so, in the sense you got from them, is that they were like, initially aggressive we're gonna attack these and then when you were kind of like yeah we're just getting this guy and we're gonna be on they were kind of like eh, all right what lame we don't really got it <laughs> here to do this thing and we don't care awesome so yeah i mean that they didn't really want to be here in the first place so they left. What, are they still guarding the tower, or...? You said they went into the swamp, or they went back towards the tower? They went off into the swamp. No, they just went off into the swamp. Oh, well, sh maybe we should go into the tower, then. I, st I, told, I told them I wouldn't. That'd be lying. They're snakes! Well, but, they, but they left. Well, yes, but aren't we supposed to be going to get a key from Jingle Jangle the Goblin? <laughs> oh, right, the key. So the whole... Get... Yes, I would very much appreciate, like, muffled in the... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, right. <laughs> He'll open up the thing and pull them out. Yeah. So there's a... Gil, you're, Gil, you're bleeding. Oh, the... Yeah, I got a, a thorn on the... That's... Don't do that. That hurts. A big thorn. So, it's a big thorn. Uh, I put a Sir Talavar handout in your... Ooh. Um, and he is indeed... Cat sized. Oh, Fade Dragon. Oh. I love the mustache. That's, yeah, he's got the mustache. <laughs> and like oh, the yeah, little gauntlets. Like violet dragon with yeah, a mustache. And uh, yeah, all of that. That's him. A uh, little sword. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's got a little sword. A uh, tiny sword, which yeah, looks like it'd be kind of. for, for any of and play gauntlets? Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, he's a sir. Right. He, yeah, what do you expect? I mean, if he's going to wield a sword, you want some type of hand protection. Um, I'm very grateful all for getting, retrieving me safely from a precarious position. Of course. Yeah. So can you uh, go through the story one more time. Uh, as we ooh. head towards Jingle Jingle. Yeah. Because yes. we're getting out of the brambles. Who are you? Who's the queen? Who's the in charge here? Where are so We're new here. This can be a disorienting place. I've been here. My queen is Titania. How, how many queens... Are how many queens are there? Oh, there are, there are a great many. Bay monarchs. And there are many realms of the while This is just one that... Well... Used to be guided under the Bilna. It's the Archfey of this realm, Prismir. He's been overthrown by the hourglass. Cruel, terrible hags. Wish to rule this. But the, one of them have a moon face and like a pig face and a frog person? Well, the, oh, Bavlorna. Bavlorna Blightstraw is very frog. Where is there? Where do we find her? Oh, well, she lives in a spook cottage on stilts at the heart of Downfall, this bullywug settlement it was. The bullywugs are quite delightful. Courteous, welcoming, as long as you don't offend them. Of course. 
she lives in her hut and conjures her little mini go do spends most of her time plotting against her her and her two sisters there they don't always get along yet they did come together to use a great and powerful artifact, Igwilf's Cauldron, freeze time in Zabilna's palace and trap her in rule in her stead. Yeah. I was on my way to report this news surprise to me upon arriving here, report it back to Titania in hopes that she could help Zabilna, but Caught by the corner. Might help us out too, actually. Um, these hags stole things from us. I, I'm not misremembering, right? Like we've heard, we've talked about the hourglass coven, and we know that these three. Okay, good. I'm not just awesome. So, so it, it might be great for all of us, actually, if your your queen can. Um, Stop them and, and help us recover some things that they they stole from us. Very much like to back to her. Some assistance it will take me some time to travel back. Hmm. Age. Yeah, right. You first. So, so Zabilna is the queen of. Prismir? Yes. Archfey and the Queen. And, and she's frozen in time. Yes. Inside in her, pal her palace. Seems bad. It's not good for this. Fractured. Vilna assured that everyone in this followed her rules and now she's here to make sure it happens so now there's brigands there were always brigands i wow. imagine they have become much more punish them guys when i right before i came through mr light said the something to me about um Free the uh, dormant queen at last. That was kind of a, a little bit of advice. He also talked about a alicorn. I don't know what that is. Um, a unicorn of wings. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. What? I assume my character potentially knew that. Alicorn? <laughs> Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I guess this with a horn or a horn with wings. So, do you know of a, an alicorn, Talavar, Sir Talavar? Out of them. Specifically, how? But maybe that's, yeah, part of all this, that we should set things right. Set things right here and in, for us. Perhaps that may have brought you here. Yes, all land should have justice under the law. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're just trying to get some things back. Uh, but uh, we will help how, how we can. I mean, it's just the four of us. We should improve the places that we move through. Yeah. Wait, isn't there another one of us? Which place has ever done for us? Another one of us? Did the NPC come with us? No, the NPC stayed. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I thought the NPC was coming with us through here. The NPC would, looked seemed as if they were going to go with us, but did not. Which one mm. was that? Kenku. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Our thief friend. 
No. Because that way you didn't have to play a Kenku. <laughs> Kettle Steam. Oh, you could uh, play a Kenku. Kettle Steam had I thought he said something like he couldn't do something. Yeah. Yeah. What, did, what was his story? He, he, he wanted something, but something was well, taken from him too. He's like a warlock of Zabilna, it seemed like. Yeah, and he had lost contact. Right. And was, you know, was worried about, um, about why, like, didn't really have a good answer for what had happened. All he knew is, like, I have this patron. I've lost her. Um, and he, uh, because of the Fey Pact, he, he cannot enter, or she, sorry. Elsim was a, he could not enter. I think, yeah, as you were talking, I wanted you to find out what happened as a film of it. All right. We had off to see a goblin. Oh, yeah. I very much appreciate finding, finding the key. Abominable. So how did... Jingle Jangle get the key? Jingle Jangle... That seems to be what... Who had the key before Jingle Jangle? Imagine one of... Minions? Oh. Likely. Oh, all right. Yes, Bellamy Hill is just this way. Uh, remind me who Bev Lorna is. Uh, the one we got to kill. Hag. It's just no, the, the one hag. that has, and one she that has the, the most important lost thing. <laughs> and, oh, so she's one of the three hags? Yeah. Is one of the, three the real reason we're here. None of, this, none of this. Save the queen, all that bullshit. She's the reason we're here. <laughs> which, which one is she? I think she's the frog one. Yes. She's the frog. Calabar said she looks frog. Okay. And he she also... steals toys. Yeah. And he also said, well, he also said. <laughs> Not a nice may have taken note. She doesn't, doesn't leave her uh, hut. Right. Her cottage. Stays in there, she sends her mail. Got uh, it. So, like, the frog one we saw might not have been her, but a minion. Her. All right, well, one of her minions has to die. Right. <laughs> and then she and gets then her. Her. Right. And then you can get Cluck back. Yeah, I've never killed anybody before, so. Yeah. <laughs> one, one might be a stretch here. <laughs> no, I mean we probably don't need we don't need to kill anybody. Look at all the we had two potential fights we just avoided yeah, look. with successful diplomacy checks. Yep, it was great. You didn't... Yeah. yeah, raw weapons or anything. This is pretty good. I don't have a weapon. Hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the idea of like, oh, we just came here with nothing. And... <laughs> well, what would we have brought? We'll see what happens. Yeah. So you start heading east following um, Talavar's direction, uh, and you, uh, you kind of get to this mist, Sir Talavar ensures you, yes, it's just through, just through the mist, not much further, and uh, after walking, um, walking for a little ways,
uh, you start to yeah, you start to get through uh, through the mist and see this hill, and you're greeted by the scent of sweet smelling. Fruit. There's damp, downy, kind of silvery green moss blanketing this gentle upward slope, before giving way to a craggy ridge that on top of the hill. Uh, there's dozens of enormous willow trees dotting the hillside, swaying as though they're in a breeze, although there's definitely no breeze at all. And it's about half a square mile wide, uh, and you can see there's a little bit of a trail that goes up it, uh, up to the craggy top. How far did we walk all together? Uh, so this was, uh, let's see, um, probably a little, yeah, a little more than uh, a mile, not quite two, but maybe getting close, a little further than it bridge to. Okay. You know, and you still get the senses, time and space. Like, you're pretty sure you're walking east. You can't be. And time-wise, yeah, we probably walked a couple miles or close to it, but hard to say. Okay. Should we go up? Let's go up. Yeah. Of course. This will be fine. Smells good. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Oh, well, if you're hungry, the swamp most of Prismere offers many wonderful delights. If you spend some time. Oh, uh, yeah, any suggestions? Goblin. Gob like goblin cooking? That's what, that's what I thought Gil meant when he said he was hungry. No, I never no, no, tried. I, I, you smell the, like, this smells sweet. Like, never tried goblin cuisine. Like fruit or something. Are there fruit on those trees? Uh, not on the trees on this. Sometimes. Fruit fun. All sorts of things. You never know what you'll find. And it's usually like edible, not poisonous. Oh yes, many, many wonderful things. Very few of them are. Oh. Huh. Okay. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> uh, do you spend any time looking for for food? Yeah, I mean, not, I'm not, no, not yeah, like as, as we're traveling. As, as we're traveling, traveling, yeah. Yeah, there's like berries on the side. So, uh, as Weird. you're walking, because you have some, you have some time. Uh, make a... Oh, okay. wonderful. <laughs> you're really good at that. And anybody who wants to, like, help. I'll, I'll like, help. Can... I mean, I'll look. I will guide him. There you go. Take advantage and then plus a d4. Oh, never mind. Cax found it. Oh, Cax. Cax is looking too. So Cax, actually, so between. I was more just walking with Gil, be like, "What are you looking? Yeah. Oh, what's this over here?" So yeah. as like Gil is kind of like plucking berries and yeah. things like that, um, you find enough to like basically feed the the four of you for a day. Um, but Cax, you reach your hand into. Oh. Um, you reach your hand into a bush, just feeling like, I think there's, yeah, I think there's something. Uh, I, I feel like there's good in this bush. And you reach in, and you pluck a, delis a delicious orange flower that says, <laughs> as you pluck.
hand to Gil. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah, it's it's really delicious. Uh and the the head of the flower is really tart and the stem is sweet. And as you're eating it it's like <laughs> And then its voice slowly fades away as you as you eat it. Disturbing. Wow. Very <laughs> to that flower just ask you to eat it. It, it did, it, yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Um, and then, huh. uh, Gil, as you search a little more, like sort Happy. of after, yeah, like that was the most delicious flower I've ever eaten, and it's like, wow, that bush is must be like full of good stuff. So yeah, I'm um, kind of reaching in the same. Yeah, you know, I'm another one of those. Yeah, he gets to try one. X was in. You find a brilliantly colored sunrise flower. So it looks like a sunrise. Um, and yeah, when you pluck it, it starts shedding light. Ooh, that's bright. Well, geez, that could be useful. Nibble it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you got, yeah, it like, yeah, spicy, yeah, spicy honey. Oh wow, this is, and then Gil will just kind of grab a couple more. And, yeah. 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 So you got a couple lantern flowers. Nice. Eat a few and save one. Yep. And as as he's eating them, Ushka will look to see like, does he start glowing, glowing <laughs> like a jack o' lantern would? <laughs> You know, it's just a light trying to beam out from inside of him. So you can kind of see, like, mm -hmm. as he swallows, you see a little bit of glow in the throat, and then it kind of passes, fades away. Interesting. That's Very correct. interesting. So strange. Food is weird here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but you've gathered enough other stuff. Non-magical foods. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so not everything you pick is. You do find a couple odd flowers. Uh, but yeah, you've got enough sort of like berries and fruits and kinds of other things that you eat or make into food. I do all of them. Uh, and then as you get yeah, as you get to the hill and start kind of you know making your way up this path. So you start walking up this path, and uh, four of the willow trees approach you. Oh. <laughs> and as they get about ten feet from you, they stop. Uh, and one of them... Welcome. How long do you... Not very long, I don't. I don't think. Twenty minutes. Yeah, what, maybe. What brings you? I need to see Jingle Jangle. Wonderful, friendly, friendly creature. We need to talk about his friends. Yeah. She always talks about her keys. Endlessly going on about her collection. Quite interesting. Dangles them all over her coat. Doesn't jinx. Hmm. Is she likely to let us borrow one of the keys? I don't even need to borrow it. No. No. <laughs> We've seen your brigands. They're not very good. Oh, indeed they are not. 
fact, just three days ago, Jingle Jangle was out rooting for truffles and she was attacked and robbed. Terrible Brit. Hasn't left the hilltop since. Truffles? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, go on. Imagine she must. <laughs> oh, we could bring her some food then. Gil pulls up his wings that have been folded over to carry a bunch of fruit. <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. Yes, please. Come right along. And they start using their... Is no one else... Am I the only one weirded out by the fact that the trees are talking to us? Well, the flower was talking too, and I ate it. You talked to the snakes a while ago. That's... Normal-ish. I never... Uh, trees have never spoken to me like animals have, so I just... I, didn't, I guess I thought it was weird, and you all seem fine with it. Well, I mean, until a few minutes ago, snakes had never talked to anybody I had known. So I kind of figured this was all normal. You guys are pretty well adjusted. Well, he just ate a Fushka's flower. just kind of wringing his hands as they he walk. Just ate, he just ate a flower and glowed like the sun. That was and weird. Actually, does... Um... We have a cat dragon in a cage over here. <laughs> it's, 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 it's more like a... Does Northwind uh, talk? The rules of this place... He's a tree folk, right? Uh, Northwind, the, uh, yeah, Northwind speaks common. Yeah, I mean, and he, is he kind of a tree? <laughs> yeah, he's a tree. Yeah, I mean, like they're not that different from Northwind, the uh, you know, like the tree at the carnival, the well, the tree folk. I guess. I just Yeah, I guess that's true. I, maybe I've been desensitized to weird things over the last <laughs> few years. Just a little well, bit. <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't here. Well, not here, but I wasn't I've been places, and not for very long, but I guess I've seen some stranger things. Uh, yeah. I haven't really been places, so. Did you, Tex, did you go to, like, other planes? Well, I'd, I'd, I was told I found my way to the, to the Feywild, actually, but not, not, not here. Oh, you visited. I well, I was looking. I've been looking. Haven't y'all been looking, searching for what? Where am I gonna search for? Just because you don't know where you're going doesn't mean you can't go places. True, but if I don't go anywhere, then at least I know where I am. Right now, I'm lost. But you... And what I lost doesn't exist. What? It's like they kept a thing from happening in me. And you don't find that... That doesn't... make you feel... different? Yeah, of course it does. It certainly does, but it, I didn't think to, that there was a remedy to this situation. Well, you never know till you go look. You guys have just accepted your plight all these years? No, but every time I try to go somewhere, I just get lost. I've been working at the fair where we lost our things. Oh, have you been looking there, or are you just yes. working there? Yes, I've been, yeah, learning about it, paying attention. I mean, yeah. That's why I left. See? Gil knows. I just, yeah, I've been places. can't. You guys you never made it back to the fair, but till now. Yes, didn't know where didn't know where it was. I was looking for it. Well, we're here now. Wherever here is. Hill. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yes, sorry. Uh, Tell me, Hill. See. 
now you know where we are. Do, do they have faces or what? <laughs> yeah, is it like? Is it, yeah, um, is it tree beard or is it? Uh, it <laughs> yeah, so they're like north wind. Um, can't can't see. They've got all these just the will, like, yeah. hanging down mm -hmm. willow branches. <laughs> um, or sorry, yeah, eaves and everything, and all you can really see is like the branches that they seem to be arms. So each one of them has two long branches that they're gesturing. Okay. That's they it. Keep escorting you up and eventually you get you get to the top and you see uh yeah, there's this you know, cave uh with this entryway that looks All sort of gesturing with. Oh, good luck. Yep, walk on in. Walk in. As you as you go in through the door, first thing you see is worn stone steps leading down. It feels like a cellar. It's chilly, and you get this light. Of... And, and from uh, a distant spot in this chamber at the bottom of this room, see there's kind of sputtering candles that illuminate this multitude of keys that are dangling from rings that are tied tightly crisscrossing the wall all over this uh, chamber and then there's hundreds of other keys strewn all over the dirt floor inside here um, and as you take in this scene, the absolutely massive amount of uh, a goblin emerges from it. He wears a coat lined with metal key, carries a flail that has padlocks for head, and she smiles faintly. How might jingle jangle a bit of happiness in your lives today? We need a door unlocked. Door. Very small door. I must probably have a key for it in here somewhere. What what kind of door? Where is it? Where? The cage. <gasps> must be silver key. That's kind of going across her jacket, looking around. He finds a silver key. Better you should have it than those long-eared brigands. First they stole Jingle Jangle's truffles. Next they'll want Jingle Jangle's keys. Someone ought to give them a good shaking down so they know what it feels like. They, they tried to steal our memories. Terrible. I was just digging for truffles in the swamp when they... They leapt out from behind the reeds and shrubbery, and they took my truffle, took Jingle Jangle's truffles, threw Jingle Jangle down in the mud, and whacked Jingle Jangle with their wooden clubs. It's horrible. Yeah. It's Sorry, we we brought you some food, Jingle Jangle. Yep. Food? Yeah, set down. Berries love, and such. Love some food. Here, here is the. Set that creature free. Take it and try it. To work? To unlock yep. the cage. Wow. As as you uh, as you unlock the door, uh, Sir Talavar stretches out his wings and stretches out his tail and steps out of the cage. Starts flapping his wings and lifts off from the ground. And he looks at all of you and nods. Undoes uh, his tiny sword from his belt. Holds it out. Offers it. I, I already have a... At least I can... 
I already have a knife. I, I don't need it. Eat. I'll take it. <laughs> Use it well. <laughs> I must get back to Queen Titania now. Well, 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 wish... What will she do? I hope that she will take action, but not for me to decide. Give her the news and she will do what she will. But I can't imagine that she would wish to abide this. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Hi. Where is her kingdom? Where? How are you going to get there? Fly back. Which direction? In case we ever need to come find you or her. Need to come find me. There are many guides here. Bring you along. You'll not be able to find it yourself. Find one of them. Let them know where you need to be there. Do you need your sword back to be all courtly and stuff? No. I wish that you would have it. Use it. So is it sword size for me? Is it like so dagger for you, knife it's, size? It's dagger size. For you. Ah, bigger than okay. But it is a plus one dagger. Oh, <laughs> we got a magic weapon. <laughs> I got a magic weapon in a non fighting campaign. Let's go. <laughs> it's still that could be useful even in non fighting. You're gonna be able to open up letters. Really well. <laughs> I'll be able That's to open rude. up letters that are magically sealed. Right. 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 So yes, you have a plus one tiny sword. <laughs> <laughs> That's and awesome. Exactly and, uh, what a... Yeah, Talavar spreads his wings and your valor will not be for flies off out of Jingle right. jangle, watches him go, nods at all of you. Done a good, good thing, setting him free. Jingle jangle is glad. I mean, of course, somebody yeah. was in need. <sighs> kind of thought he'd help, help us figure out what to do next. Well, I mean. He had mentioned the town of the Bullywogs where one of the hags is. I mean, we could go there and meet a hag. I guess. Oh, jingle jangle. Jingle jangle knows what you're talking about. Can you point us in the right direction or show us where to go? Jingle Jangle doesn't want to leave Jingle Jangle's home, but if you go north and somewhat west of here, on the other side of the causeway, mm. large stone road used to be, mm -hmm. you'll find downfall there. Be careful, you'll have to go through the brigands' tollway to get there. Oh, oh boy. That doesn't where sound good. That nasty Agden long scarf. The one with the bright blue scarf moves fast like lightning. You might see him there. He's the leader of those brigands. We heard a bad song about him. They live, they live there in the, the stump they camp up there so they can see all around and they can watch all the wooden catwalks around the camp. Very careful. Okay. Is there a non brigand way to get there? Not, not that Jim knows of. Okay. Whole way. 
stretches in all directions. So, like, should we, what sh should we bring something for the toll? I don't. Jingle Jangle doesn't know what you can. Do. Nasty. Well, I know. Jingle, what you do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cax will Cax will out rhyme him. That's what'll happen. Challenge him to a yeah. rap battle. Still working on my rapping. That's okay. <laughs> All right. The the dragon friend mentioned guide. The best guide around here. Clapper claw. You can find Clapperclaw in Downfall, the Bullywug village. Clapperclaw is a scarecrow with pincher hands. Like a stuffed scarecrow? Yes, but with like pincher hands. Like crab. He's a scarecrow. Yes. I've heard okay. Jingle Jangles heard that was how to get hither. Hither? Hither. Like, yes. Hither and thither? Well, you're in like, hither. This is hither. But you get hither. Next to us is hither. hither. Hard to get to, but Jingle Jangle has heard that Clapper Claw. That's where Grand Nightshade is. Grand Nightshade. All right. A lot to absorb, but okay. um, hither is Prismere. Prismere, hither is in Prismere. As is thither. Yes. Right. And yawn. And the palace. Is there yawn too? Okay. Got it. No. Used to be all one until. Bad things. Uh, hourglass coven. Okay. Clapper claw. Okay. So, scarecrow. Scarecrow. Yes. There's Clapper claw the scarecrow. Just gotta get past the brigands. <sighs> Out for the one with the That'd scarf. Right. Really fast. The bright blue scarf. Yes. Even. Bright blue. Scarf. Moves like lightning. Moves like, like actual lightning. Egg the long scarf. Very fast, like lightning. Okay. I guess we'll be going. Be careful. Plan to. Jingle Jingle hopes you find Slack Jaw Lorna and stop her from doing nasty things in the cottage. I don't, Slack Jaw Lorna. I don't know how we're going to do that, but uh, yes, if we hope that too. Goes back to playing her own. Did, she say did you see all my keys? Jaw. Or did you see all Jingle Jangle's keys? It's a very nice collection. Yeah, impressive. Fast. Always looking for more keys, though, is Jingle Jangle. I don't, I don't have any on me. I'm afraid. Probably won't need them. Find them. Okay. Good to know. Thank you, and um, watch out for those brigands. Enjoy that fruit. Oh, Jingle Jingle will. Thank you very much. Delicious fruit. Starts eating some of it and then distracted by it. <laughs> All right, head down the hill. As you, as you step out of that hole entry, um, 
the trees start kind of dancing around you. They seem very appreciative of all of you. Uh, and then one of them actually picks up an iron key out of the dirt, holds it out. Shouldn't we return it to Jingle Jangle? You have more. I'll thank okay. you for your offering. Take it. Take it and put it in my pack. Iron key. So now you're yeah you make your way down the hill the tree for you down dancing <laughs> yep. yeah, is playing something <laughs> yeah playing something yeah. oh the trees like it i mean Dude, we're gonna dance we probably well got an audience in this yeah. place let's go yeah this place is great for you uh, and uh yeah as you as you play um Seems like the hill itself. Strange. <laughs> Disorienting. <laughs> I'm using move skills, man. Let's go. As the grounds are swaying. <laughs> no, that is weird. <laughs> I'll, I'll say to Ushka. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Getting seasick on the ground. <laughs> Get off the hill. It's the other ground is not moving. We don't see any feet, do we? Like in the picture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We head northwestish. One of them do, and I follow. Somebody go. Yeah. Somebody does. Let's go this way. This way. Yeah, so you can start making your way up up this. As you start making your way up there, look back. The hill has started walking. So now you see giant hill, and it's just sort of sham. <laughs> I just need to confirm that hill is walking, right? Yeah. It appears so. Okay, that that is strange. Yeah, that's something out of story and song, not actual reality. Until, I guess, it's actually reality. I don't know that the uh, Feywild is reality. <laughs> well, it is someone's reality? The denizens here. Yeah, but I don't think that. I think the thinking of here is where we are from makes it difficult to understand the rules of this place. There must be rules that this place follows, but they're not ours. Right. That doesn't make it less real. Just different. Different, different rules. And we just need to follow the rules here and we'll be fine. We need to understand those rules. Yeah, that'd be nice. That was cool. <laughs> Just there. I mean, you don't think we're like all in a dream together, right? Like, you do think this is real. This place exists, but it's not reality the way that we're used to perceiving it. Right. It, I like that. Yeah. It's a different place. It's not 
We're not in home. Right. <laughs> You're definitely not home. They just have different customs here. It's... And different hills. <laughs> I'd say we are aware we're in the Feywild, right? Yes. Different everything. Acutely. It's a... It's very definitely. It's a interesting part of the Feywild. So just because something moves, does that make it alive? Hmm. I wouldn't say so. I mean, plants are living, but they don't move much, other than the willows. But, I mean, generally. Right. The things that don't move aren't necessarily not alive, and things that do move aren't necessarily alive. Uh, right. Yes. Were things that talk, are they alive? I think you may have eaten a sentient flower, I, but it wanted to be eaten. I don't right. know if that makes it okay. I mean, is it possible that it wasn't, it just says that and it doesn't actually know it, you know, like. Could it, we could have maybe tried to talk with it more before you. <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. I understand. <laughs> I understand. And it's a different world with different customs. Right, but we'll, we'll find another and we'll see. Maybe like, from now on, if something talks to us, we don't. Assume we can eat it. Oh no, I wasn't gonna do that. I was, I was gonna, you know. I mean, in all fairness, it did say eat me. It, yeah, I, and it seemed quite pleased when you did. Yeah, right. So yeah, I don't think it was the wrong move. No, I, no, no, exactly. It wasn't necessarily. I don't know if I would have eaten wrong. the radioactive flower, but oh, did you try it? <laughs> No. I still got some left. It's kind of got like a spicy sweet. Yeah. None, none for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm holding off on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're as you're chatting and moving um through the swamp, again, there's still places where it's you know foggy and kind of hard to hard to make out uh, much past. You know, the fog, you can see a little bit into it, but not not too far. Um, but as you kind of get up here, uh, you cross this stream. Um, and as you do, crossing stream towards you this way, so moving west, you see, uh, and I put a picture of this in. Um, it is a, uh, it's an inn, and uh. it's got a lot of legs for it, mm. and it is walking, um, and they are, you know, like, fleshy, sort of sticking at the bottom of the stone, um, and it's, yeah, it's, uh, walking along. Um, as it gets across the stream, it uh, lowers itself, so all the legs kind of like disappear inside the stone, and it doubles down. Uh, sort of like off to the left. Uh, it's this squat three story structure, got a slate shingled roof, and these kind of worm eat, worn out. Uh, walls. Uh, there's dozens of little orbs of pale light kind of buzzing around the exterior, uh, kind of like glowing flies. Um, you know, when it's moving, it's like rocking. And now it's still. Um, and you can smell now as it settles near you, you get this hearty stew aroma wafting out of the inn. And you see these kind of little cottony puffs of up the chair. Settles there. What's in those berries? 
<laughs> I don't know, but everything's walking, and I'm really not sure we should have eaten them before oh, I smells... had time to prepare them. That smells good. It does smell good. But why was it walking? The uh, mountain or the... The build, the whole, <laughs> both of them, but the, right now, the one I'm concerned about is the building in front of us that was walking. It's so swampy around here. Probably wouldn't want to settle in one place for long. I mean, we probably should go ask them. Uh, hey, excuse me. <laughs> yeah? You hear a email voice call from inside. Look, there's somebody inside. I mean, I, of course. Well, well come on. Oh, okay. Maybe drink. they can walk us past the brigands. Right, exactly. And or also maybe they just step on the brigands. Stew. That'd be cool. <laughs> just... <laughs> I guess we don't have to hurt the brigands, but I... okay. They're brigands. Well, are Feywild brigands people. different than our world brigands? They're still people. They're brigands for a reason, I'm sure. Circumstance and driving them that direction, you know. That's generous of you to assume. We tried well, to get at that. Yeah, you never liked it when they towed the brigands through Candlekeep, did you? You were never there with us watching that. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we go into the. You go into the now not at the end. In. Uh, so you go in, and this kind of looks like. Giant mimic. Standard in. <laughs> and you get <laughs> uh, no, it looks, Yeah, I mean, it looks kind of like. Oh, yeah, this is sort of like. Free and we've seen, you know. Seats, bar. Um, there is an elderly uh, human woman wiping down the bar. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Have a have a seat anywhere you like. Is there anybody else inside, or is it just the? Uh, it's that you can see down here. It's it's just you. Okay. Thank you. Most normal thing so far. Ushka visibly relaxes. <laughs> um, will you be wanting dinner, beds? Ooh. Um, I, I, I don't know what I want. What right time now. is it? Definitely dinner. <laughs> what time so is it? <laughs> how tired mean, do we feel? I mean, it's yeah, it's hard to tell. Um, you're not you're not that tired yet. Um, you know, weirdly, I mean, going through the portal was, okay, but you know, there's still a feeling of like, oh, maybe if. Yeah, maybe if I well, some rest. Hard to tell how long it's been the carnival. Hard to tell what time it is because it like night. Uh, how, how much is everything? How much? Yeah, like. What's your? Where? We're not from around here. You don't. So we probably don't have the right currency. We may not have the right currency. Really, any old, any old trinket you have will. So you don't know anything about Prismir at all. Very wow. little. Near enough to nothing. We've uh, learned a few things in the last couple hours, but... We know where we're trying to go. Something. You don't, you don't know any of the... No, but there, is there a book for it? No. No. I'm oh. fairly simple. Book. Okay. What what are the rules? We'd like to follow them. Um, and you should. 
can't do anything about it right now. But hospitality is important. So anyone enters your home, friend, stranger, to be gracious and accommodate. Unless they prove undeserving, of course. But otherwise, treat them, treat your guests well. Shouldn't steal from anyone, friend. Of course. Taking something that doesn't belong to you without permission is a crime, and it's so very much a breach of etiquette. Unforgivable. So I've right. Brigands. Yes, I've heard some of these brigands aren't aren't treating that the way. And then. Of course, reciprocity. When a friend or enemy or stranger offers you a gift, you are obliged to accept it and offer something gift or something you can do. It doesn't have to be immediate. Maybe you promise them down the line. As long as you do those three things, then you're going away. Got it. So, room and food um, costs us whatever we can offer. Yes. You know, huh. a trinket that you think is of comparable value to a hot meal. Sleeping. If you wish. He looks around and and you said yeah. I mean, wasn't a lap, but like a little rundown. Yeah. In here. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Things are... Yeah, the kinds of things you would expect from a place that is in a swamp and also walks around. Right. So it's not, yeah, things have, be, had, things have become loose, you know, as if a building had been... Uh, Rocking back and ground. forth constantly. Yep. And there's yep. some, yeah, a little bit of, like, the, you know, worm-eaten, like, moldy but she obviously keeps it up as best she can. Not dirty. It's not. Right. I, Shows it's... I, could, I, I don't know if it would work, but I could try and mend a few of the things around here. Um, oh. Put them back to what they should be. I could try. Wonderful. I haven't... You know, ever since... Uh, ever since... Or the even before the oven took control here, I've been running this place by myself and just time to fix things up like like to. I would appreciate. Yeah. It. Certainly, uh, happy to, and I'll try and use mending on some of the things to see if he can mend what he can ever whatever he can mend um, at least in this room. Yeah, you can patch up some of the gaps in the walls and kind of pull the structure back together a little bit. So yeah, you're you're able to do. That. Gil might jump in and uh, if he can find something that he can just fix without magic. Yeah, because <laughs> that's kind of what the chair leg. <laughs> he's got I mean, he's got like a nails in his pocket or whatever. You know, yeah, like... yeah. There's some like. <laughs> yeah, some of the you know tables are a little wobbly. But yeah, you can do it. put a Repair napkin under it. The, yeah, repair around the. Put a napkin underneath. Tighten, Perfect. Tighten up the table leg. That's a good day's work and a good night's <laughs> wage. Just level this thing out here. <laughs> so is is that enough for at least a, a meal? Oh yeah, that's wonderful. I'll I'll be right back again. Take. Take a seat, please. Make yourselves comfortable. Sure. Oh, this place is great. Kind of goes into the the back, and after uh, after a couple minutes, comes out with yeah these big like steaming bowls of stew, vegetable, thick broth. Smells great. You know some big hunks of crusty bread. Drinks. So she brings this out and kind of sets all the table, and then sets a big 
delicious looking pie in the Wow. Please, please enjoy. Thank you. Wow. That's right. Where, where, where all does this inn travel to? Well, I'll tell you, once, once this was, this inn was the talk of all of the, ever since the Bilna, Heard that she's trapped and love to. See, that's what's causing all. Love to see her get out so I can get out of this swamp and get back to the other parts. Like I, I forget where are we going again? Is there and Jan? Yeah, we're going more to the town. The... So you're you're going to downfall. Downfall. Do you do you travel to downfall at all? Not usually. I, uh, they have their own oh. village going on up there, and oh, right that lifestyle. Got it. it was, that's fine. where we're they're, going. They're friendly. They're they welcome guests. Or, well, unless you're disrespectful, they don't cause you any. They're very, very. Uh, they take manners very serious. Of course. Yeah, it's just where we're going. Um, so we, we did, Hollywood. Yeah. Well, and to go talk to a hag, I think, is there? Or no, well, I guess there's a scarecrow that's going to help us. Clapper Claw. Oh. oh. Right. But Bavlorna is near there. Yeah, she's in the center of the village in her cottage up on the stilts. Right. So we need to go talk to her because she uh, stole some things from us that we want back. Hope you can get the some agreement with her. Yeah. Well, now that we know the rules, it shouldn't be too too bad, actually. That the rules make a lot of sense. They're quite clear in this regard. Sure. I expect yeah. that you'll follow them mostly, although. Dozen doesn't belong to her these days. Except if Zavilna is not doing her thing, then aren't the rules breaking down? Well, not so. I would I would expect that you know, in terms of you know hospitality, you could expect Babylon to guest. You know, do anything to uh, convince wise. Right. No, no stealing or rudeness. Right. right. Uh, you know, if you wish to get something from her, I would turn part with whatever it is you're looking for. Although ownership kind of thinks the whole place. Her now that Bilna's out of the picture. Being... Well, uh, her and his, her and her two sisters. The rest of the coven. Well, I would imagine. Kind of spits coven. Part of this. Yeah, well, that'd be That's great. Cool. Hope it happens. To you. Yeah, well, if we hope it happens for you all too. Yeah, it's, we're the we're just trying to get our stuff back. Not, not fun. No. Well, anyway, uh, enjoy the meal. Yeah, if thank you. Need you. Anything, thank you. Let me know and decide you want some rooms. A few moments to prepare them for you. And be on your way. I understand. Sure. Thank you. Tidying up the bar, wiping things. We 
if you do eat the soup, it is a bit. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. And the pie. Pie, yes. Yeah. The yeah. Pie, so yeah, it's this like thick, sweet, um, gooey pie. This place is great. I don't. I mean, I kind of want to go back to the library, but I kind of like it here. And it's terrifying, but almost in a good way. Yeah, it's not bad. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they have a big library somewhere. Hey, is there like a big library around here somewhere? Says to the... And, and I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Uh, uh, <laughs> you. My name's uh, my name's Sue. Oh, Sue. Sorry, Ushka. Sorry, Gil, person? Cax, and Bramwell. Yeah, she's a human. Okay. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself sooner. <laughs> so I'm, like you said, you're you're new here. There's a lot to take in. Right. Right. Unusual place. It took me quite a while to get to think. So you weren't around here originally? Uh, no. Made my way here long ago. Quite a while. No, not originally. Well, quite like it here most of the time. Yeah. But yeah, is there like a library you all keep around here? In this, in Prism here? I imagine there's probably one in Alice. <laughs> have a prayer, but... Or... Oh, yeah, well, right. There is one, that's probably where... Now, well, again, thank you. And as you are, as you're eating, um, you uh, notice, you know, you don't actually, you don't, you you think, oh, I would never have noticed if I didn't look out the window and see that the terrain is passing by. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like you're moving. Like you don't right. feel like you saw it from the outside. You saw this thing back and forth. You don't feel that inside. It feels stable. It feels. But as you look out the window, you know the the terrain, like at walking speed, but it is definitely moving along. Yep. Which which way are we heading? Can we tell? Uh, no, it's it's hard to tell, and you don't see any of the like, you know, you see fog and you see swampland, but you don't see any far. Right. So, hard to tell where where you're heading. We'll end up somewhere. <laughs> so, we'll end up somewhere. what kind of deal do you think we can make with a with a hack? Well, that's get... an interesting question. We we need to know what we're what they we need to know what they need. Like they're stealing things. If they're stealing things and they need something that they're trying to get, they're trying to get it through through stealing. But if they could get it through trading. And we could get something that they need without stealing. To get our stuff back? Yes. Hmm. But, I mean, if they're stealing things, and, they, and if they want something, isn't what they want maybe worse to give them than them not having it? I mean, they kind of did something bad to a queen that's what I'm saying. These people, these are bad people. They're not lawful people. They're not following the laws of the land. Well, alternatively, right. but, but we can. 
Why? Yes. Because they're the laws. Nobody else, they're not following them. They took our stuff. Well, but I mean, like, Sue's following them and Jingle Jangle's following them. Like, it's... And they've already expressed how things aren't as good as they used to be. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't want to break the law. Well, but this doesn't, like, you only have to be a good host if they're deserving of it, right? And you only... Deserving is subjective. That's, and, um, that phrasing worried me. And, and, and re reciprocity, like, if they, you know, don't, aren't nice to you, then you don't have to be nice to them. Well, they also yes. took something from us without giving us anything. That's right. right. That's so we can take something from them for rest. Well, that's stealing. But, but, but we can re we can request nicely to some reciprocity. Then that yeah, we just want our stuff back. That's the easiest thing to give us, right? Yes, I think. That right. Would, right. Okay. I'm sure that'll work. <laughs> I hope so. So when it doesn't work, I mean, what? you might have to like trick them or. Oh gosh. You know, I don't uh, know. Well, I guess stay quiet during that part. I guess. Try. Might have to just scare him a little bit. How are we going to scare a hag? I, I mean, you're really big, but we scared the brigands away. Sure, but this is like a hag. Like these things terrified us as kids. A mountain to step kind of on. Terrifying. Them. I don't. I... I, also, I also found it interesting. They said that Lorna never leaves her hut, which means that that's not Bevorna out there stealing our stuff. True. Right. And I don't know what that means. If Bevorna sent them out to do it, then it's the same problem. But if if Bevlorna's minions are out just stealing people's stuff without Bevlorna's per uh -huh. permission, yeah. then True. I'm with you. We don't need to yeah. go in like give us our stuff back because if that's not Bevlorna's fault, then that's not Bevlorna's fault. So first we need to ascertain whether or not she's aware of the crimes her minions are, 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 are committing. I mean, I'm guessing she is. Oh. But I'm just yeah. saying that's another angle. Right. 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 And also, I'm curious who, who is it if that's not Bev Lorna or if the frog person wasn't Bev Lorna. I don't know. Right. Then, like, is that not Indolin Moongrave that we saw, the moon faced lady? Well, or is that Sir, yet another Sir minion? Calavar said she looked frog like, so. Right. Yeah. That's what I was confused about. Unless it was somebody just looking like her. True. Or unless that was well, her. We'll ask her and we'll find out. And maybe we'll trick her or scare her. Or just talk to her. I mean, we could just start by talking. Right? Like it. Right, yeah. Right. And if not, I got this cool little uh... <laughs> uh, tiny sword. Tiny sword that nice uh, Delmar gave me, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's not use a tiny sword unless. Yeah, no. Threatened. I'm not looking for a fight. I I've been be gearing good. up for this for a long time. The fight for Cluck. I've never hurt, never hurt anybody in my life, but I've been gearing up for this for a long time. And I'm going to tell you, so we're, this, we're, this, we're this close, and I'm not going to let it get away. Well, and so with the whole reciprocity thing, you could write her a song, and we can get our stuff back. Oh, I'm sure, like you, her, know, you write I'll really write good songs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just, in a threatening way, say, "Oh, oh I'll write her a song"? I'll write her a song. <laughs> just want to make sure I heard it right. Be a song. <laughs> I guess that's what the brigands were trying to do—an intimidating song. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. Well, 
so as you're you know as you're kind of finishing up with the pie and chatting and you know a couple times um sue comes out and clears things away refills his drinks um uh, eventually you notice that the the you know scenery has stopped going by it seems like the settled down tells you as i said you're you're welcome to have a room uh you know, to sleep rest but you know i do have to keep moving along and i know you said you were trying to get to downfall take you further away from where you're going so I'd like to part from here and basically we're almost directly south of the friggin's tollway which has air careful pass through there right. head to the west in the broken of the causeway being downfall great thank you okay yeah I, I guess we should go he looks around the table so do we feel like we've been engaged in a short rest okay but then i will take the effects of a short rest so if we were sitting there long enough then i would have played is that a thing i think that's a thing. i don't know because i know somebody was injured in our party at one point yeah gil oh, was right. mortally wounded yeah so if we've been here that hour, uh, I will play a song of rest for Gil. All right. I don't know if he's actually going to spend hit dice or not, but yeah, I'll just spend a hit die. But if you yeah. do, yeah, I mean, I'll heal you up. get an extra d6 back. <laughs> it's going to be uh, excessive. Super healer, hit <laughs> but we're going to overkill your hit points here, but that's see. okay. If I roll double ones, I I'll play you a song. You get plus con. Sweet, soothing. Oh, is that how it works? I don't remember how healing works. Con D10, D6. <laughs> oh, you yeah, already covered it anyway with the con. <laughs> it was a good but song. Hey. Oh, man. It was, yeah. It was we all enjoyed song, it. Though. And a D6. Oh, yeah. Look at all those hit points. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. I'm glad I'm getting those rolls out of the way. <laughs> So yeah, we, we leave the inn at the end of the road. So as you step out of the inn and get back up on its feet and shamble off down the swamp, um, southwest of, uh, and then, you know, turn to face back towards the north, um, you see, uh, right there. Oh. You see, uh, what looks like, uh, looks like a well. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's this, uh, stone constructed, um, you know, 10 foot wide. Uh, or ten foot, sorry, diameter. It's some, it is, uh, sixteen feet above ground level to the to the lip. Uh, <laughs> and floating around it are uh. <laughs> Uh, there are four kind of wispy, glowing balls of light floating on top of this. Uh, and as you um, as you kind of watch it for a second, uh, it starts uh, just blasting out this uh, this nasty swamp water just foul swamp water just spewing out of the top of this uh out of the top of this well and cascading down around you and pretty quickly the ground starts uh 
starts well water starts gathering on the rising kind of standing in this buck water starts to run ankles as the well spewing swamp water and find out what happens with that <laughs> toilet is overflowing Gross. that's a good way to yeah. end <laughs> <laughs> yep. this place was really cool up till this moment <laughs> yep. well, so somebody had to back up the shitter yep <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So, uh, thanks for for hanging out, everybody who was uh, watching. We we appreciate you tuning in, and we will. I think we'll be back next week. On we hope. Uh, yeah, I hope so. All the scheduling works oh. out. Maybe not. <laughs> See you in two weeks uh, for D and D. Maybe we'll be back in two weeks for for more uh, Feywild adventures. Uh, <laughs> Better bet. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you in two weeks. Maybe. Maybe next week some of us will be here doing something else. Who knows? Um, check Twitter. If you are if you follow us on Twitch, you'll be live. So if we can arrange something next week, we'll be back. Otherwise, we'll see for um, what's going on with this crazy swamp playlist. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll see you next time. Good night.